Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing. I'm Pastor Daniel. And my desire for this program is to bring you God's Word that I believe will build your faith and your faith and I will be joined together as we pray over every manner of sickness and disease and any kind of challenge that you may be going through. You know, in the book of James, the Bible says, if anyone is sick, let him call the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. He said, the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed any sin, they will be forgiven. You know, many people don't have an elder who can pray the prayer of faith. Some people don't even know anyone who believes in healing. Uh, but if you're watching this, I believe God wants you healed. God wants you to receive the prayer of faith and God wants to walk a miracle in your life. Because I'm anointed of God and I'm an elder in the church and he has sent me to bring you God's word and pray the prayer of faith over you or for you or with you so that you can be healed. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. Maybe you are going through challenges in your family, challenges in your finances or in your health. The healing power of God is coming through this program to you. And that's why it's called Touch of Healing. So get ready if you're watching this. I believe that you're going to be transformed today. And it may just be for someone else also. Maybe you are joining faith for someone else to be healed. Uh, share the message with them and join them. Watch them. Watch it together. And I do believe that power is going to be released as the word of God comes. Because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. And as usual, I will be at the end ready to pray with you no matter what the, the need or the challenge is. So today I'm reading from the book of 1 Peter chapter number 2 and I'm talking about by the stripes of Jesus. It says here, uh, verse 24, 1 Peter 2, 24, he says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, that we haven't died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. So the Bible is telling us in these very few verses that Jesus Christ came and died for us and that we also died with him and yet by his stripes we were healed. By the stripes of Jesus we were healed or we are healed like um, Isaiah would say. Now that means that everyone who was who is sick, everyone who is oppressed, everyone who is going through any challenge because of what Jesus came to do on the cross. The Bible says that Jesus was actually God in the flesh. God himself took upon himself the nature of man and came to suffer for all our sins, all our sickness, all our disease, and eventually died on the cross so that we can be free from sin and become reconciled to God. Now, if you are not, if you're new to the Christian faith or you have known the, the Bible for a long time, one of the things you would recognize is that the reason, the origin of sickness, of disease, of poverty and death was what Adam did when he sinned and turned humanity against God at the very first beginning of creation. The Bible tells us that God created man in his own image and the first man, Adam, was tempted like we all are and he fell and then man became sinners by nature and because of that sickness disease and death came into the whole world but the good news is that 2000 years ago the bible says that jesus christ came he is the word of god the living word came and took upon himself the nature of man and then he not only lived as a man the bible says when he was about 30 years old he gave himself over uh, to be killed on our behalf and yet he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity and they put stripes on him they beat him and then eventually nailed him to the cross but the bible says he did all of that for you and i so that we don't need to be sick so that we don't have to be sick so that we will be healed in short the bible says that those stripes that were placed on him was placed there he received them on behalf of us so that the pain of our sickness the diseases and every kind of disease that we will ever face has been paid for so if you're watching this i want to let you know you don't have to be sick anymore you don't have to be oppressed i know sometimes people may have prayed for you you may have gone to the doctor did everything you know and look like it has not changed but i've brought good news for you today jesus himself paid for your sickness and your disease and he did it painfully with the stripes that was laid on him and then he died on the cross for your sin and my sin and if we believe that i believe it if you believe it the bible tells us that the healing power of god will come into your body come into your circumstance break you out of the power of satan and set you free in the name of jesus and see i know some people say is it that easy why is it not everybody that are healed yes it's that easy just not everybody knows how to receive it and the bible says the way to receive it is simple you all you have to do is to believe he said if you can believe 
all things are possible to him that believes. Mark 9, 23. So all you need to do is to believe that Jesus paid for you. Believe that his stripes is enough to make you well. And then ask him, receive him by your words, by your in your heart. Tell him to come into your life. Tell him to heal you of your sickness and disease. If you invite him and you believe that he would do it, the Bible says he would do it. So my prayer for you today as, as we continue, as, we, as we're about to conclude this, is that you believe and that your eyes will be open to see from the Word of God, like mine have been opened, so that you can receive your healing the way I have received healing as well. And I'm going to be praying for you, and if you're sick in any part of your body, you can stretch your hands towards the screen, or just touch whatever material you're using to view this, and the healing power of God is going to come onto you. Don't forget, it's not just my words, not my power, it's the name of Jesus, the power in the stripes of Jesus, in the Word of God that makes you well. I am only here to apply it through prayer, so that you can receive your healing today in Jesus' name. So let's spend, let's go ahead and pray. But I thank you for everyone watching this program. Your word says, by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. I come against that sickness, that disease, that pain. I say, devil, take your hand off their bodies. I command migraine headaches to stop. I command chest pain to cease. Back pains, lose your hand in the name of Jesus. Every kind of cancer, I rebuke you. Take your hand off in the name of Jesus. Ears, be healed in the name of Jesus. I command every kind of bone marrow disease, every kind of joint degeneration, be healed in the name of Jesus. I say be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Pain be gone, never return back. I try this, be gone in the name of Jesus. I command your eyes to open for you to see clearly every kind of eye disease, glaucoma, uh, all kinds of blockage of the eye vessels be healed in the name of Jesus I command your blood pressure to come to normal that you will live a long life and you will not die and give glory to God for the healing in Jesus name receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus amen I believe many people are getting healed miracles are taking place why because the Word of God cannot fail the Bible says he sent his word and healed them and deliver them from their oppression. So I know the word of God is working and that you that is watching, a miracle is happening in your body right now. So you can begin to rejoice. Thank God for the healing. Thank God for the miracle. If it happens instantly, give, give God thanks. If it doesn't happen instantly, continue to believe. Sometimes the healing goes takes a little time, a few days, hours to get complete and you realize that indeed you have been healed. Again, my name is Pastor Daniel, and I would like to hear from you. Write me, write us this week. Uh, the number is showing on your screen. You can send us a text message, 301, uh, I think 741, uh, 1937. Or you can send us an email, touchofhealing2 at gmail.com. And don't forget to also subscribe, like, and share this channel, this particular episode. And I believe that your friends and family will be blessed by it. I look forward to seeing you. Another episode of Touch of Healing. Have a blessed day.